Hi, my name is Devin Jackson Randall or DTR and welcome to Queer Fidanchi. Let's talk. Uh, before we do, uh, heads up for you guys, I actually am having video editing problems again. Um, which is why I did not have videos the last two days, but I am currently using YouTube's very basic editor just to get videos out there. But heads up as to why the quality might go down from what it was already at. Today we are going to review Heroin Slash Addicted episodes 4 through 6. If you guys don't know, Heroin is a Chinese web series. The series is about the love of two high school boys, Lu Yin and Lu Hai. Specifically, their mother and father end up falling in love and getting married. Uh, they don't know who each other are, um, and then they end up getting in the same classroom, in the same school. They first hate each other, bully each other, play tricks on each other, but then they eventually start to become friends and then eventually lovers. So if you guys are interested, I have links in the description where you can watch the show. And yeah, let's get started. So episode four sees the two really starting to transition from being rivals to being friends. Uh, in this episode, you can see really a lot of uh, Guhai really putting into the relationship. For one thing, he's very much into Lu Yin. I don't know if it's exactly romance yet, but you can definitely see that he is into Lu Yin, even if it's just like an interest or a, a curiousness to it, uh, because he had the whole like staring at him longingly, touching his head when he's sleeping. Uh, drug him, which by the way is not okay, and even to the extent that he went and fought the bully guy for Lu Yin, even further to the point where he was actually like getting very aggressive and violent with him. Literally, he was in that fight for what 30 seconds and he was willing to break the guy's leg for Lu Yin. That's a little way out there, but anyway, I think the, the two couple are charming and fun in this episode. It was a very nice episode to watch, so I definitely think you guys should go check that out. As for episode 5, I specifically really liked this episode for the acting. Um, the episode, the part where Hu Hai and his father got in a fight, I really thought that was good, and I say that because in a movie like Love, the son and father in that series end up getting in a fight, and I thought that was done terribly. Uh, specifically the part where he was getting whipped with the belt, the son was getting whipped with the belt was so bad. So coming into Heroin Slash Addicted episode 5 and seeing Gu Hai and his father get in a fight and the father kind of lash out uh, very passively at his son, I thought that was very nicely acted. It really felt unique and authentic to me. Um, throughout the entire episode though, the acting was very well done and seeing the two, Lu Yin and Gu Hai, really connect and become friends so quickly, it was really nice to me. I thought it was well deserved with the first four episodes being about fighting and being uh, this pranking schoolboy rivalry situation. As for episode six, this episode really was seeing the two become closer as friends. The first half had them doing cutesy, like, I'm into you, but I'm not really gonna admit that yet moments. And then, of course, there was Guhai's girlfriend in the second half. And mind you, I actually sympathize with Guhai, but Guhai's girlfriend. I have to sympathize with her. I really think that she has reasons to be upset. Her boyfriend is ignoring her. Her boyfriend is not replying to her texts and all that. So she would be worried and I get that. But at the same time she's doing things like making Guhai not like her and then making me as a viewer not like her as well. Specifically, you know, getting into fights with girls that get near Guhai. That you don't want to do that. When you're in a relationship with someone, you don't want to do things that make you seem insecure and that make you seem violent. Uh, that would make him not like her and make him want to break up even more, you know? That's not the right way to go. Um, but once again, I do sympathize with her and I do see why she's doing these things. So it's an it's, uh, iffy situation overall. So that is it for my thoughts on Heroin Session. They did episodes 4 through 6. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about these episodes. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Did you watch them? Did you not watch them? If you didn't, you should. Once again, links to the videos in the description down below. Also, a link to the blog post if you guys want to see my written out thoughts. There's some more things there. So just all that. And I hope you guys are doing well. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. And let's get talking. Bye.